Hey, good morning. I hope y'all have been enjoying this week as we have talked about the compensation plan and ranks and what that looks like. Today, we are going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to talk about income producing activities, what they are and what that looks like for you as a sharer and business builder here with Young Living. So income act producing activities are activities that allow you to expand your network and grow your business consistently. Some examples would be adding names to your 40 plus list, creating value added posts on social media, sharing with new people each day, connecting with new people each day getting new customer and business builders started, following up with people on your list, new members and new builders, attending team events and holding your own events. So let's break that down. Let's talk about each of these and what that looks like. Notice my cute little helper in the back. This is real life guys. Um, so within your community, get involved, get connected with people, whether it's a mom's group on social media where everyone lives in your neighborhood or your town, or it's making new mom friends at the library, at school, at the gym, wherever you go. Social media. This is uh, a big part of our lives these days, and we can use social media for the benefit of our business, um, especially. So make social posts that add real value to people's lives. Talk about your real life. Talk about products that have impacted your life. How the business has impacted your life. Things like that. And you don't always need to talk about oils. Talk about other things too and mix in the Young Living related things. Join uh, new Facebook interest groups um, about exercise, food, mom life. Um, you name it, there's a Facebook group for it. So find new groups, join. And then comment on posts in the groups. Make your own post and add those people that you're connecting with in your interest group to your friends list, like Facebook friend them, okay? And um, allow them to get to know you outside of that group. You can do the same thing on Instagram. Find new hashtags to follow. Um, hashtag mom life. Hashtag life with toddlers. Hashtag girl mom. Hashtag fit mom. Again, if there's an interest, or something that interests you, there's gonna be a hashtag for it. Find it, follow it. And then you're gonna see uh, people who also use that hashtag, hashtag pop up in your feed where you can like and comment and message those people, get to know them, find new followers, um, start following them, making those connections. On both Facebook and Instagram, take conversations into Messenger um, or through text if you have their phone numbers so that you can get to know them and really have those personal conversations. Ask, um, be yourself, be vulnerable, and ask questions. Also be inspiring. Let's talk about adding names to our 40 plus list that you've already started. So as you're making these new friends on social media and at the library and at school, at the gym, the grocery store, add them to your list. Add them to your list. These can be people who've shown interest in your post. And these can be people that you're connecting with and adding as new social media friends. Try to add at least two people a day or more. Um, maybe some days you add 10, some days you add zero. Find a good balance. Always be growing that list though. Um, back to social media real quick. Creating those genuine relationships is what is going to allow you to bring them into your business. Um, you want to understand what's going on in their life, what's going on with them, and help them find solutions to problems. But people don't care what you know until they know that you care. Okay, so you've got to make those connections and those friendships first before they're going to trust you um, with a solution or a change in lifestyle, okay? And again, this these connections are going to happen through messenger and text. Let them talk more than you talk so that you can get to know them. But also be vulnerable and real so that they can connect with you, the person, and um, not feel sold to. Meet their needs as they arise and as it's appropriate, okay? Now, let's talk about developing new members and builders. Work with those who are ready to rise up in your team. Help people on your team rise to star or the next rank, whatever that rank is. Invest in them, help them grow, help them meet new people, host classes, and help them mentor their new members so they can continue to grow as well. We rise when we rise together and it's all about teamwork. 
following up with people. We want to follow up with people all the time. These can be people who have expressed interest in oils. This can be a friend who's going through a really hard time. This can be our new members, and this can be our new builders. Follow up. Check in with them. How are they doing? Are they loving their new products? Um, how are they doing with hosting their first class? Um, are they ready to get their kit yet? I know you've expressed interest. Are you ready to give it a try? Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. Okay. Um, and through all of this, you will only grow your team or your business as much as you grow yourself. So you, yourself, always need to be growing as a person. How do we do this? We become a product of the product. Try new Young Living products all the time, every month. You're going to do this through Essential Rewards by ordering new products and getting those free products with your orders and trying them out. Use them in public. Use them around friends and family who aren't oiling yet and be a product of the product. Let people see the value of these products in your lives. You also want to be consistently revisiting your goals and your pace. Are you on track to meet your goals? Are your goals realistic? If, you're, if you need to change something, what do you need to do to, to get on track, to keep pace, to grow the way you want to grow? Um, constantly be checking your virtual office to see how your team's doing in terms of OGV and hitting goals. Is there a leg or part of your team who needs some extra help? Um, always be aware of what is going on with your team. What knowledge do you want to seek this week? How do you want to grow? What do you want to learn about? Maybe it's... Um, personal and professional development by reading a new book or a podcast. Maybe it's um, doing product research or wellness research, um, like health issues that other people deal with. Um, maybe you want to look up and learn more about endometriosis. Not just how to support it, but what is it? What does life look like for people who have that? Um, anxiety and depression. Um, ADD in children. Sorry, she opened a marker. Hold on. Uh-uh. No markers. No markers. Put the lid back on. Get. Help. Um, research and Make a list for each day of what you're going to do. Maybe the night before or first thing in the morning. When you're realistic with our time and our goals, then we're more likely to do those three things, get them done, and consistently grow our business.